Hi, welcome to Imagination Station in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, we are doing our Just Tinkering program, and what I'm going to show you today is one of my very favorite tinkers. Uh, we're going to be building an automata. And an automata is something that uh, was created a long time ago, uh, before TV, movies, uh, radio, uh, and they would make automata as like a, a thing that they could entertain themselves with at home or uh, you, you could give as a gift, and we're going to build one. Uh, they are fairly simple. And, uh, and it ha you're going to build a little puppet on top, in this case, a, a little arrow, and it has a follower and a crank to make it go. So let's go over some of the things that you will need to build your automata. Uh, we need a couple of pieces of cardboard, uh, like one with a nice hole in it as a guide and one as a little base. Um, we will need uh, a, a, a nice uh, wood block with a, a hole drilled in it, which uh, will be in your kit. Uh, we need two wires, um, uh, one wire, two wires, and, uh, and our little uh, follower. And uh, optionally, you can use a straw if you don't want to drill a hole. Uh, the ones in our kit will already have holes drilled in them, but we'll also send you some straws so you can make some out of recycled materials later. And, uh, and a hot glue gun uh, is also really useful, um, something to punch holes with, um, is also recommended, but not necessary if you have the kit. And the kits go to anyone who is a member of Imagination Station. So you can come on down uh, and pick them up. Uh, just uh, sign up to grab one online. And, uh, and another recommended thing, uh, I, I do like to use a little wood glue. So, uh, so those are some of the things that come in the kit. Uh, the wood glue and the hot glue gun, obviously, are tools that do not come in the kit, along with our punchers. Uh, but um, but the, the items that you need to build your automata are, are all here, and, uh, and uh, the hot glue gun is necessary. This glue's pretty uh, optional. So uh, let's get started. So uh, first thing that we need to do when we are building our automata is we need to uh, build our base. Now, um, uh, this uh, nice piece of wood uh, can be stabilized by adding a, a, a base to the top and the bottom. Uh, our top uh, should have a little hole in it to help sort of guide the wire as it's going through and kind of control its direction a little bit. So um, I like to use, when I'm building mine, uh, wood glue because it really holds the cardboard to the wood very nicely, makes something very stable that will last a long time but we don't have that kind of time because it takes a while for the wood glue to, uh, to uh, dry. So we're going to use hot glue. So you just wanna get a good amount of coverage and uh, stick it sort of central. Now, um, you can do a lot of experimenting with this. Um, it, it, it's also fairly easy to take things apart and start again. And this isn't exactly fancy cardboard, so you can, you can get another piece if, if you make a mistake. That's the wonders of tinkering, is that mistakes are just opportunities to learn and try something new. So I got that on there. Got that on there, give it a nice press. Um, make sure it's attached pretty well. It uh, cools fairly quickly. So we can uh, move on. Now I've pre-bent this, um, but what you'll need to do is you'll need to take uh, pliers and uh, bend like a little U-shape into it um, because this is where, uh, where your follower is going to attach and this will become your crank. So we are going to, uh, and speaking of mistakes, 
I have already made one. So that is easily corrected too, because uh, my, my crank uh, and my guide hole were um, on the wrong side. So I'm just gonna re-glue re this. Do a nice square of glue again, and we'll just pop that right back on. There we go. No fuss, no muss. Easy peasy. That's one of the reasons I love tinkering is it is easy to fix mistakes. So, and you know what? I'm not real happy with, uh, with how far this hole is from the top. So I'm gonna make another little adjustment. I'm gonna put a hole uh, down here and I'm gonna flip this whole thing over and we're gonna have this be our guide hole and this be our base. Um, Cause it just, I think it'll work a little bit better. So I'm putting this right through there and then you need to get your follower on. I pre-poked holes in my follower just to make it a little easier to get it on and to have it go the way I want it to. So we're just gonna pop that through. You can probably just pierce it right with the wire and you don't necessarily need an awl, but the right tool for the right job, I say. So, um, and then once your follower is on and, and your, uh, your wire is here, you can use your pliers. This wire is fairly pliable, so I'm just gonna do this. And then you have a crank. See how nicely that crank works. And we're gonna slide this through the hole up here and into our follower down here. I, again, I pre-poked the hole with my awl because it was easier. You don't need an awl. You can probably pre-poke with the wire, but, um, but I like the awl. Um, and then uh, just to secure your wire, it's always good to throw a little bit of hot glue on there just to keep it from uh, popping out when you don't want it to. And hopefully your gluing will be a little neater than mine, but that's okay. So, and then give that a moment to dry. And then the next thing you can do is you can start working on your puppet. So uh, it should crank fairly easily, just like so. All right, well, let's, uh, let's look at some different puppet options and different motion options, because this is your basic automata mechanism. Something else uh, I wanted to show you before we look at our uh, automata options is um, you don't have to use a piece of wood if you're doing this at home and you don't have our kit. You can use a cardboard box, and we're also using little straws because you can then stick your, uh, your crank through the straw and, uh, and do the same sort of thing. Just so, you, just so you can see, it does the same sort of cranking mechanism. So, uh, so a straw is another option. I like uh, paper straws because uh, they're a little bit more eco-friendly and also um, they don't melt when you hot glue them. <laughs> so some of our, uh, our, our motion and puppet options. Um, so uh, as we saw with the others, this is just a basic up and down motion. Simple basic up and down. Um, and uh, this guy is, doesn't reflect what you'll be getting in your kit because he's made out of recycled items, but you can totally do that, raid your recycle bin and, and build something out of this. Um, so uh, he, he jumps a little rope. Um, and, uh, but if you wanna get fancy and you wanna start experimenting too, here's another nice uh, way this is making the bird go back and forth rather than up and down because we built a nice mechanism out of, uh, out of different pieces of wood. And, um, 
And you can even experiment with uh, how it works all together. You can uh, see how we made a spiral for this one. So this is still an up and down motion, but it does it in a new and different fun way. And you don't have to just have a single up and down motion like these guys. You could even do like our friends here. Uh, our ghost is scaring the, uh, the guy in the cemetery. <laughs> so you can, uh, so this one actually has uh, two followers and two follower wires and, uh, and, it's, and its crank moves both of them. And you can experiment like with uh, the, the guide hole. This has a simple little guide hole. This has a guide slit, so that gives him a little bit more leeway to sort of bounce around in different, uh, in different ways. And this one is done like uh, with the straw instead of uh, with the drilled hole. So if you have the spare wood at home, uh, our, we're sending out one by ones uh, that are about four inches tall, but you could use a, uh, a, a cardboard box like from a, uh, a thing of baking soda. You could use corrugated cardboard. There's just a million ways that you can make these out of a million different things. And it's a lot of fun. So that is our uh, mechanical automata. And if you, uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed this, uh, please uh, like and subscribe and hit the bell for uh, notifications of future uh, tinkering activities. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming to Imagination Station and uh, doing a little bit of tinkering with us. Have a great day.